Now, the second type of questions related to KC uh, are, okay, what's going to happen is, okay, the KC value would be given. And it's the opposite now. And you have to find, uh, you have to find uh, equilibrium moles. Or equilibrium moles or concentration. Now, before moving to that, uh, let's do, let's try and go through one of the questions that we did earlier for revision. Uh, now, in that, we, we learned how to make this table. <coughs> okay, if, if in a question, uh, the question states that 0 0.3 moles of nitrogen and 0 0.6 moles of hydrogen and 0.5 moles of NHC are mixed together. So those are your initial moles in a container. And then the reaction would start, forward reaction or backward. Both would, re would start. Eventually, a point would come when the reaction reaches equilibrium. When the rate of forward reaction and the rate of backward reaction becomes equal. And so now in this question, that after several days when the equilibrium had been reached, it was found that 0.45 moles of N2 were present. So, so 0.45 moles of N2 were present. This was provided. Now, based on this, that initially you added 0.3 and now 0.45 moles are present. That means some backward reaction must have happened. The equilibrium must have shifted left to, which is the reason why you have more N2. Uh, so the middle column is the amount that is reacting or getting produced. So based on this, that initially you had 0.3 moles, now you have 0.45 moles, uh, you figure out that 0.15 moles must have been produced in the reaction. And if 0.15 moles have been produced, uh, then according to the ratio 1, ratio 3, 0.45 moles of H2 must have also been produced. And according to 1, ratio 2, 0 0.3 moles must have reacted for NH3. 0 0.3 moles must have <coughs> must have reacted. Now, and based on this, the amount that is getting produced and the amount that is getting reacted, you figure out your equilibrium. You figure out your equilibrium moles, which in this case came out to be that you initially had 0 0.6 moles and now you have 0.45 moles extra that are getting produced. So at the end of the day, total moles is 1.05. Um, 0.5 moles were initially present. Uh, 0 0.3 moles got reacted, and now you have 0 0.2 moles. So, so you were able to find the equilibrium moles using this method by drawing a table. And we did a lot of questions, and we're going to do more questions. Uh, now, type two questions is the opposite. That KC value would be given, and you have to do the exact op opposite, that you have to find equilibrium moles and equilibrium concentration. <coughs> now, the way you do it is that, uh, and most of the time, the reaction would have, uh, this would usually apply to equations which don't have any units. So I have a reaction in which uh, in which you have H2 and Cl2 reacting together to form two HCLs. So this is the reaction that is given and nothing else is provided. Uh, except for the initial moles, what you're what you're given is uh, so you're given you're given the initial moles of I uh, see so you're given the initial moles of of H two. Let's let's call that zero point three. Cl two is also zero point three moles. And for HCl, the initial moles are, let's assume, 0 0.15 moles. So your initial moles are provided to you. What are not provided are, are your equilibrium moles. 
and no information is given about what amount of substance is reacting and what amount of substance are getting produced. So no information other than that is provided. So equilibrium moles are also given and you have no idea what amount is getting reacted or produced. So this is the only thing that is provided to you. That initially you added these many amounts of H2 and Cl2 and you mixed it with HCl. Then obviously a forward reaction would start. At the same time, a backward reaction might also start. Initially, the rate of forward and the backward would not be equal. Uh, and But at some point, they're going to become equal. And that is when equilibrium would be reached. Now you have no idea what are the equilibrium, what, what is the situation of this container at equilibrium. This is the only thing that you know, that 0 0.3 moles of H2 and 0 0.3 moles of Cl2 and 0.15 moles of HCl are just mixed together. Now, other than that, you have no idea what's going on. The only information that's provided is that you're given that Kc has a value of 1.5. That's the only information that's given to you. <coughs> and you're being asked to figure out the equilibrium moles or the situation of the container at equilibrium. So no other information is provided except for the fact that you have to figure out, uh, you have to figure out the condition of the container at equilibrium. Now, Based on this, how would you try <coughs> and figure this out? Now, I have no idea what amount got reacted. I mean, I have no idea what is the amount of moles of H2 at equilibrium. I have no idea out of the 0.3 moles that I initially added, what amount got, got reacted or what extra amount of moles of H2 got produced. So I'm going to assume X. And let's say I assume that X moles of H2 reacted to reach equilibrium. Now that's just an assumption that X moles got reacted. So that uh, so that you have, uh, so what are the, what would be the amount if X moles reacted, what would be the amount of moles at equilibrium? It would be 0 0.3 and minus, minus X, right? So this is an assumption. Like, like in previous cases, I knew exactly what that value was. Like, for example, if you look at this question, uh, the question had stated that 0.3 moles and 0.6 moles and 0.5 moles were initially present in the container. And then forward and backward reaction started and they eventually reached equilibrium. But you, you were given, in the question, you were given the moles of one of the substances at equilibrium. And from that, you, you were able to figure out that 0.15 moles got produced. I mean, 0 0.3 moles were initially added. 0 0.45 moles are present at equilibrium. So that indicates that 0 0.15 moles extra have been produced. Now, in this question, no such information is given. So you're going to assume something. You, you have to assume something. And I've assumed that X moles of H2 have reacted. That's just an assumption. Maybe they got produced. I, I have no idea. And I have no idea what this value of X is. For the equilibrium to be reached, uh, I have no idea what this X is. But if X reacted and 0.3 moles are initially present, then at equilibrium, you'll have 0.3 minus X because X, X moles would be gone. Is this clear? Heba, Rida, Minahil, is this clear? Sanjida, is this clear? Yes. Asha, so, so the next part is that if X moles are reacting for H2, the ratio is one ratio one. If one H2 reacts, one Cl2 would also react. So X Cl2 would also be reacting. And the amount of moles at equilibrium would be 0 0.3 minus X for Cl2 as well. And if X moles of H2 are reacting with X moles of Cl2, on the other side, 2x moles would be produced according to the ratio. So over here, 2x must have been produced. So 
So you had 0.15 initially. Now 2x moles extra have been produced. So at the end of the day, you'll have more moles. 0 0.15 plus 2x. Okay, so I have my equilibrium moles, but in terms of x. Okay, I've, I've found my equilibrium moles in terms of in terms of x. Is this clear to everyone? Yes or no? Is this clear? <coughs> yes. Acha, so the next part is easy now. What, what I'm just going to do now is uh, I'm going to write the expression for Kc. The expression for Kc in this particular case was uh, HI concent HCl concentration squared. And this thing was divided by uh, H2 concentration and Cl2 concentration. And previously, I had also told you that uh, you don't need to input concentration if uh, you can use moles directly if the numerator terms and the denominator terms are equal in number. Uh, because the divided by volume part would get cancelled out. So you can directly use moles. So it's going to be, uh, I'm going to input these values now. It's going to be 0 0.15 plus 2x HCl squared. And the whole thing is going to be divided by uh, 0 0.3 minus x multiplied by 0 0.3 minus x. So that is going to be squared as well. And that's equal to 1.5. Now we just need to solve this. The first thing is I'm going to get rid of the, I'm going to get rid of the square. Take just one second. I said, so I'm going to get rid of the square. I'm going to under root on both sides. So take the under root. And it would be 0 0.15 plus 2x. And divide the whole thing by 0 0.3 minus x. And that's equal to 1.5 under root. Now, remember this, that if you take under root of something, it gives two values. One is plus and the other one is minus. So what you're going to do is you're going to try and solve both values, both. I mean, it's, it's you're going to get two values of x. Uh, and both of them would be solved separately. So the first one I'm going to solve is for plus 1.5 under root. So it's going to be 0 0.15 plus 2x. And that would be 1.5 under root. Uh, get the numerator denominator on the other side. It's going to be multiplied by 0.3 plus 1.5 instead it wouldn't be plus because it's multiplied by minus x so it will be minus 1.5 under root multiplied by x you can get the x terms together so it's it's going to be 2 plus 1.5 under root i've brought all the x terms on the left uh, the other side would be uh, 1.5 under root into 0.3 and minus 0 0.15. And this whole thing can be, you can find x now. You can divide this by 2 plus 1.5, 1.5 under root. Now try and quickly find what the value is. And we're going to solve the other equation as well, which is then I'm going to take this as minus 1.5 under root. So it's going to be 0 0.15 uh, plus 2x. And the other side would be um, minus 1.5 under root into 0.3 and plus 1.5 under root into x. And if I bring all the terms together, it's going to be <coughs> it's going to be two minus one point five under root. That's it. Did anyone try and solve this? The first one. 
ठीक है मिनाइल संजीदा योर आंसर इज आल्सो करेक्ट अ अस द अदर वन द अदर वन इज व्हाट डू आई डू नेक्स्ट अ जस्ट वन सेकंड 2 minus 1.5 under root x uh yes that that's x and the other side would be it's going to be minus minus 1.5 times under root or oh, into 0.3 and minus 0.15 and this value would be divided by it's going to be divided by 2 minus 1.5 under root yes theek <coughs> hai can you try and solve this i mean the easier method would have been uh without any mistakes uh just one point i mean you, you could have used the same expression i mean that's a shortcut theek hai remember instead of actually solving the equation again just replace 1.5 under root with the uh, minus 1.5 under root and you're going to get this expression so what is the second value that you're getting so x is going to have two values so there's x1 now x2 tell me what the second value is anyone any idea i uh, said so the second value is coming out to be minus 0.66 point six six seven can anyone confirm did they ever so okay minus 0.667 six six now you get two values now remember this only one of the values is correct that only uh only one of the value is correct just remember that by looking at these values it, it's it's you can't really figure out which one is the correct value you have to substitute in the expression substitute above and and you need to find equilibrium moles now the only way to figure out which one is the is the correct value is then once you find equilibrium moles uh moles cannot be negative they simply cannot be negative <coughs> so just remember uh that these values and their signs they don't really matter i mean the values could be any value until and unless you don't substitute and find equilibrium moles uh only that is going to indicate which one is the true value and the hint is that moles cannot be negative you either have moles or you don't have something you you don't have negative moles so if i if i substitute both values in the expression what you're going to notice is uh the second one over here minus 0.667 the second one minus 0.667 this one over here uh 0.15 minus 2 times 0.667 that gives you a negative value that provides you with a negative value so this value is definitely not the correct one and i'm going to mark that uh this is not the correct value and this value is going to be the correct one you can also go back and have uh confirm that 0.0674 so we can go there and uh so it's going to be 0.3 minus 0.674 i think that gives me 
me point, I think it was 0 0.0674. That gives me 0.2326 moles. This would be exactly the same as well. And this would be 0 0.0674 uh, multiplied by 2. Then you add uh, 0 0.15, and that gives you 0 0.2848 moles. So all my moles are positive in this case. So these are the correct equilibrium moles over here. Okay, is this clear to everyone? Is this clear? Yes. Okay, so this is the so now, uh, let me just quickly. I said, so we're going to try and solve this now uh, over here. That initially you added these many moles in the container. These are your initial moles that were added in the container. And you have no idea how many moles reacted or got produced. So I'm, go I'm going to make an assumption, and that is that X moles, they got reacted. So what, what do I have at equilibrium? It's going to be 0 0.7 minus X. Same over here. If X are going to react, they're going to react with X moles of H2. So, so if X are reacting, then X moles of H2 would also react. So this would be 0 0.7 minus x. Tigerida, just one second. Tiger, let me check. it looks it looks fine except did you do it with minus 1.44 as well the rest of the question is completely fine but under root under root of one me why is it one point need the last part the math is you're getting zero point it's just the last part so I'm going to I'm going to solve it here uh, the rest of the working looks fine except for the math at the end I, I can't really get that I said it's, it's 0 0.7 minus 6 0 0.7 minus 6 and it, it, if X are reacting then X moles would be produced at the other end so X got produced and X of these would also be produced so is this clear? So this would be 0 0.3 plus x. This would be 0 0.3 plus x. And the t again. The rest is uh, you have to find the right the expression for Kc. The expression for Kc is product concentration, which is uh, 0 0.3 plus x multiplied by 0 0.3 plus x. So it's going to be 0 0.3 plus x squared divided by the reactant concentration, which is 0.7 minus x. Uh, and 0.7 minus x. So that's going to be 0.7 minus x squared. Uh, and this is equal to 1.44. Uh, the first thing is uh, you need to, as I say, you need to, you need to under root it to get rid of the square. So take the under root. Remember, it's going to give you two values, plus and minus. And then you solve, uh, so it's going to be 0.3 plus x and 0 0.7 minus x is equal to, I'm going to solve for plus 1.44 under root first, 
uh, this would come out to be uh, 0 0.3 plus x and 0 0.7 multiplied by 1.44 under root minus 1.44 under root into x and we can further solve this as uh, bring x together so it's going to be it's going to be 1 plus 1.44 under root and the other side would be 0 0.7 into 1.44 under root uh, minus 0.3 and you can divide the whole thing by, I mean, this was x. So 1 plus 1.44 under root. Either what is the value that you got? And the second value for x would be with minus 1.44 under root. So you, you're going to use the same expression. It's going to become minus 0 0.7, 1.44 under root, minus 0.3. And the whole thing would be divided by 1 minus 1.44 under root. Tell me, is it 0 0.45 and 0 0.55? Sir, where did you get the 1 from? Yes, uh, this uh, x, bring all the x terms together. The common though, this is 1x plus 1.44 under root x. Okay, Minhail. I've, I've, skipped, I've, I've skipped one step. Okay, x uh, terms bring them on the left side. Okay, get them together. So it's going to give you 1 plus 1.44 under root, I think. I said, uh, tell me what the answer is to this. Point four five and point five five. Okay, point four five and point five five. So, your answers were were correct. Oh, yeah, both of them are values of x, right? Yes. No. Need just one second because this. <laughs> Yeah, are you sure it's 0.45 and 0.55? I'm going to quickly open the market scheme as well as 13 cubic 2, 3. Hey, let me, I said, remember, the biggest mistake, it's, it's on your calculator, TK. You're going to make mistakes on your calculator. As I let me, as I, everyone is getting a different value, let me quickly. It's uh, S9701, let's go S13. I said this one. Uh, which question was it? We were getting point. Need the value of x comes out to be zero point two five. Okay, the value of x is coming out to be zero point two five. Need what is the other value of x that's coming out? What's the what's the other value of x? I mean, this this is probably the correct value of x. I'm sorry, the second value is in minus. Nee, value. Remember, value is not an issue. Value could be in minus. What value is Value I think this is coming out to be zero point two five. Remember, don't reject the value. Can anyone tell me what, what is the second value of x? 
Acha, one thing, one easy shortcut is that if if the first value works, you don't even need to actually calculate the second value. That's probably wrong. Okay. In this case, if the first value, if the first value works, uh, and you can you can place it uh, over here, and you will find out that uh, 0.7 minus x would be 0.55 moles. I think it's going to be 0.45 moles, and 0.3 plus x would be 0.55 moles. So these two would be 0.55 moles. So you don't even have to calculate the second value, but just for the sake of clarity, uh, did anyone calculate the second value of x? Um, sorry, the second value is five point seven. Five point seven minus or plus? Plus. Think it's five point seven. Think it. So five point seven is obviously incorrect because if you place this value over here, your moles are going to be in negative. So you can't you can't use this value. Point seven minus five point seven is going to give you negative five. So that is obviously incorrect. So I think it. Uh, let's let me. One second, if I can. Sorry, where's the where's the question? This one. So I'm going to post this. Uh, try and solve this one. This is exactly, or almost the same question, except the values are different. ठीक है send me the answers to this ठीक है मैं उसके ऊपर I'm sending this on WhatsApp ठीक है send me the answer to this uh, by tomorrow तो ठीक है we'll continue with this tomorrow with the worksheet and we'll do more questions on this Okay, take care. Allah <coughs> Hafiz.